Salutations, my fellow dandies! It's me, Jack Dandy, and today we are playing Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon, Jeff Keighley's favorite action game of 2023. I think that's how the TGAs work. I'm pretty sure it's just Jeff Keighley, like, just, just listing off his game of the year. Um, for each category. Uh, there might there might be some voting, I don't know. Anyway, we're playing Armored Core. I wanted to play this when it came out in August, uh, but I was a little underfunded. Is that the right? That's not the right word. Um, I was a bit shy cash when it came out, and I was like, ah, I don't know that I want to spend 60 quid on a brand new game um, that, for a series that I've, I think I've played one one game in. I think I've played a little bit of Four Answer. Um, so I'll wait and see how it reviews, and then maybe I'll pick it up later in the year when it's a bit cheaper. And it reviewed really well, and I, I, so I picked it up later in the year when it was a bit cheaper. Um, so we're going to play some, some Armored Core. I am a little uh, under the weather still, so apologies if I'm a bit sniffly. I took yesterday off. It's annoying. I, I was going to sit on Fridays. I don't know why. I took yesterday off work um, because I was up Streaming the T streaming the TGAs on Thursday morning, uh, Friday morning I suppose Thursday night Friday. In well, no, it was Thursday morning. It was Friday morning by the time I started. Uh, anyway, uh, and and I still was sick, so I did the stream yesterday, and then I've been asleep all day today. I wanted to start streaming at six today, but I was just sleeping. Um, so yeah, I feel fine. I'm just a bit sniffly still, so apologies for that. Uh, Anyway, I don't know anything really about this game. Uh, I, I know this by the Dark Souls people from software. Um, I've heard it doesn't play like Dark Souls, and so not to expect it to be like Dark Souls, but it is hard like Dark Souls. So, oh yeah. Love me some license agreements, data use. Yeah, just agree. Just take everything. I don't care, I ain't reading that shit. One of these days, they're going to sneak something in there that's going to be like, oh, well, you said yes, so we're here to take your kidneys. Uh, okay. But, you know, I'll... I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. Um, do I need to change anything from the default? Nope, subtitles are on. Automatically purge weapon. Sure, that's on. I don't have to manually purge my weapon, that's good to know. New game. Uh, yes. Uh, I'm gonna turn the music volume down by one, just on, just on instinct. Actually, uh, let me turn the voice volume up by one, on instinct. Matchmaking. This is a single player game. Fine, I'm not... Enter a pilot name. Ooh. Do you know I was I, I, I was trying to think like, well, what's a good Gundam-y sounding pilot name? But they don't they don't really have like names. I mean they do, like it's like Charaz Noble and things. But I just go I just go let's go with the standard. Um, actually, we're in the future. I normally go with Zack Dandy when it's the future. No, Zack Dandy's space stuff. I have I have a few like preset names. Hack Dandy is for cyberpunk stuff. Zack Dandy is for space stuff. Mac Dandy is for medieval stuff. I don't really have like. I don't really have like a near future. Mech suit name. Whack Dandy. <laughs> Thank you, John. <laughs> Salutations to you. Do appreciate the input. Uh, I mean, I do try and find like actual names rather than just. I mean, Whack Dandy. I feel like would be my DJ name. Sack Dandy is the porn name. You know, if I ever play any adult games, um, you know, if I ever decide to start start uploading videos or streaming on uh, Pornhub, we'll be playing a Sack Dandy. Um, oh, Dick Dandy is my private eye name. 
We use that. We use Dick Dandy for um, for Shadows of Doubt. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's any like uh, mech names, but it's like I'm thinking like Hero Yui, Charas Noble. These all. The, I mean, I don't know very. Many, I don't know very many Gundam names. Um, Thwack Dandy. <laughs> no, that's that's if I ever play any caveman games. Mech Dandy. Oh, there we. Yeah, okay. Me, oh, mech Dandy. Thank you, Stone. Salutations to you all as well. Mech Dandy. <laughs> I tell you what. I'll, I'll change it to. There we go. Mech Dandy. It's not so. That's not quite. Uh, oh, Tech Dandy is quite good as well. No, I'll go with Mech Dandy. I think Mech Dandy, but with a K instead of an H. Is uh. We do reverse, reverse. For, okay, well, we're not in the game yet, so fine. I should have played a noise. Did that play a noise for you guys? It did. Okay. I must just not have it set to Watch monitor. Oh wait, I I activating cerebral coral. There we go. I my my headphones just turned off completely. I had no audio at all there. C four six two one has awakened. Time to get to your live and hard. Yes, as am I. Most days. I'm powering down your entry capsule. Am I playing this because of the Game Awards? No, I actually ordered this. I I, I wanted to play this, and I just saw that they had it down for. They had a copy for I think 30, twenty-five or thirty quid on Amazon. Um, and I ordered it at the beginning of the week, and it, it just coincidentally it also won best action game. down again. The, the, the audio keep is like... Because it was in space, it was quiet, I guess. Now that it's not in space, it's loud again. I do love a mech, yeah. So I wanted to play this in August, but I just didn't have the money for it. So I was like, I didn't get it at launch. I'll wait till it's cheaper and see how it reviews. And it reviewed really well. Like I said, it's Jeff Keighley's best action game of 2023, so... Uh, but is, is, this one is good. This one, this one's made by the Dark Souls people. This is made by From Software. I think I have to play the tutorial with my controller upside down. I was hoping I'd have the character creator. Okay. Well, I have three minutes of upside. Thanks, thank courtesy of Stone. Three minutes of playing upside down. Okay. Reach the catapult. Easy. So yeah, you could completely customize your mech. Um, so you could make like just like a huge tank-like thing, or you could make like a really nimble like Jehuti type thing. It's cool. Um, and of course, I can make it you know garish and pink. And zebra striped, as is, as is my want. Some actions consume energy. Yeah, that's it's true in real life too. The turn of pink lightning. Yeah, yeah, that is my go-to mech name. I haven't had, uh, I haven't named anything Pink Lightning in a while. They're crawling out targets on screen enemies. Uh, okay. That is not left trigger, that is not right trigger. Hang on, hang on. Okay, I mean, I'm. 
I mean, I'm glad you did this during the tutorial and not later on, I guess. Hey, salutations, Jin. Good to see you. I didn't know it looked like this. It's Metal Gear Rex Dante. <laughs> yeah, it's very, it's, it's very... Like that era. Although these, these mechs are a lot more nimble than, uh... I guess they're more like Metal Gear Ray than Metal Gear Rex. Rex was kind of clunky. Rex could swim. Uh, target assist on and off. Okay, that's... I'm playing with the controller upside down at the moment, by the way. So just a just context. Uh, right shoulder weapon, left hand weapon. Okay. I've got... I, got, I think I'm going to need to get through the rest of this, this fight. Oh, 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 no, boosted fast, boosted fast, hang on. Laser sword! My laser I missed with my laser sword, and it has a recharge. Okay, I'm mostly using my laser sword to get close to the enemy at the moment. Oh, I also have a... I just have missiles. Okay. Alright, you've, you've had your five minutes, I can play properly now. Okay. There we go. Alright, that's my dodge. <laughs> Am I enjoying it? I mean, I'm only, like, yeah, ten minutes in so far. It feels good, like, now that I'm playing it, like, not upside down. Um, like, it's very snappy and floaty. I like it. Uh-oh. Fell off. I'm back. I'm back. Ooh. Okay, now that I'm fighting the stuff properly, it looks this looks so much better. Oh, I just want to customize my robot. Like I used to friggin' love metabots. Back in the day. Just because I just like used to used to beat up robots and steal parts from them. Do I need repair? What's my health? Which one's my health? I, I have a few bars on screen. Two repair kits remaining. I don't think I needed to do that. Woo! Oh, it's very pretty. Woo! Hang on. I will be honest, I didn't expect the, the, the sprint to be quite so um, dramatic as that, but I'm glad that it is. There is a plot to this game, obviously, but again, it's a, kind of in the sort of From Software uh, style. The the gameplay takes priority, and the fl the the plots kind of just to you know give you if give the gameplay something to do. Oh, how did I fry my game? Fry my game. Fry my brain. Oh, <laughs> playing too many video games apparently. Wait, am I gonna have to go and wait at queue at the post office to get some ID? Uh, okay. Quick boost lets you instantly accelerate in a direction. Yeah, this is this is my dodge. Woo! These ones have got people inside of them. Get on the way. They get the way they work. Eliminate them. It's like, sorry, can't hear you over the sound of their but their but robots exploding. You said it was cool to kill them, right? Oh. My instinct is just to like now that they're like proper enemies, just to go over them and see if they got any loot. 
But uh, sadly, I don't think that game, this game works that way. Right. Do I get, obtain a mercenary license? Oh, I do have to go to the queue in the post office. Okay. And gently down. I do have this set to, perf to performance mode, don't I? Yeah. There's, there's never any point in me putting, like, visuals as the priority when I'm streaming, because, like, you won't see it, <laughs> really. Like, the, the, most, the, the most you'll get is, like, reflections. I'm going to need your robots to be more brightly coloured so I can tell them apart from the rubble, if that's okay with you. Oh, let's go. Let's steal this guy. I'm not dead in here, by the way. My robot's just broken. Do you reckon you can call me AA? Or MA, I suppose. Uh, license expired. Okay. This one's already expired. What do you reckon the chances are it'll be the third one I look at, regardless of which order I do this in? I should... I should scout ahead, make sure there's not anything... Ooh, a helipad! What? What? A helicopter! How is that going to land with that thing on the bottom of it? Oh, I see. It tucks, it tucks it in behind itself. So, I had heard when this game came out, people talking about the helicopter as being like the stopping block for people. And it was like, if you can't get past the helicopter, then you're probably not going to be able to do the rest of the game. So I'm looking forward to the helicopter showing up at some point. I mean, again. Basically, I think I have to fight that thing. License expires in 12 hours. That's... Corp license. Easily traced. Forget it. Oh. But it's got 12 hours on it. Oh, I like the sense... Okay, so this is the sense of scale. If this is an apartment block... Then I guess my guy is just like a little, little dude inside there. Ow! What the hell? This is a housing estate! My lock-on turned off. Well, I blew up that pile of rubbish. Um, okay. I can still hear the helicopter. Oh man, it's like... It's like Midgar. Oh. Sorry, no, no time for... No time for taking in the sights. Oh, is that... What? That dude's sniping me. Oh! Uh, there's guys down here. Okay, this this area was a little hotter than I was expecting. I'll be honest when I dropped in. It, it looked it looked fine. Ow! Ow! Uh, you are a prick. Come in. I'm, I'm dealing, I'm dealing. Damn, I keep using... They keep dying a little bit, like, sooner than I keep thinking they're going to die. Oh, oh. So 
I'm like, I'll finish them off with my sword and then explode. It's like, oh, okay. Neat. I still don't know what my life bar is, by the way. I think it's the grey bar at the bottom, but that hasn't moved and I've definitely taken hits. It could be the grey bar on the left that says AP, but... Oh, I do have a finite amount of ammo. I just realised my, uh, my ammo is on my bottom right there. Hang on, hang on, I need, I need, uh, I'm out of energy. There we go. Okay, no, the bar at the bottom's my energy. Alright, I'm gonna use... Okay, it is the bar on the left then, okay. You'd think they could maybe colour code some of these bars for me. You know, like all video games do. Like, now nah, let's just make all the bars grey. Monkey Gordo? Aw, oh, yeah, 15 days. It's still valid, but the pilot's rank is no good. We can't use this. Oh. I've picked up one more wreck, 621. Transmitting marker. Go and check it out. Well, why don't you give me that one first? Wasted my time. I'm a I'm a busy mech pilot guy. I wanted to be Monkey Gordo. Now who knows what kind of animal I'll end up. My shoulder ammunition at fifty percent. Now it. Vertical catapult. We're standing on a vertical catapult. Jump to form. Oh, okay. You can use that vertical catapult to get some altitude. Whee! Oh, okay. Tra traversing this game's fun. It's clunky, but when you when you move quickly, it just makes it feel all that much faster when you do. Come on, be a cool animal. Call sign. What? Call sign. What? Ow! Ow! Oh! Oh, I thought the helicopter came in a bit later, to be honest. But what's my call sign? Tell me it's something cool, not like Donkey Boy or. Uh, the horse guzzler. Oh, damn, yeah, this... Yeah! No, the helicopter is... Yeah, okay. Explosive attacks have a blast radius. Indeed they do. Uh, okay, evasive everyone is a good way to handle attacks. They're difficult to dodge by merely quick boosting. Good to know. Go up rather than left and right. Yeah. Do you want to tell you how to beat the helicopter? Salutation, TV Uh I mean, that, that was literally my first time fighting it, so I'm all right. Let me figure it out. Let me figure it out. I appreciate you asking, though. Registration number if, if I'm still struggling, like, five attempts from now, you can maybe, maybe give me a hint. Okay, okay. 
Okay, so... still have quite a few missiles left. Oh, I just recovered some. Oh, okay, cool. It's not as dire as I thought it was. sword attack. It just backs off just enough to... Man, I am barely making a dent on this thing, and I have no more health. Okay. I'm just gonna hide behind stuff. That worked a lot better than what you told me to do. Okay. Yeah, I'm not doing a massive amount of damage to him. I was, I was kind of just like, I'll just chip away at him and then just see where I am. And then I noticed his health bar. And I was like, oh, I was looking at his AP bar, which was the one above it, I think. And that, well, that, that looks a lot more. Uh, Optimistic than his health bar did. Okay, that's fine though. We did, but we, you know, I didn't die immediately that time. Stay in its blind spot. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The sword's definitely the way to do some. Uh... Oh, that's some nice damage with the sword there. Okay. Explosions to go off a little bit. And we're away. Well, this is what did the first time. That's okay. We're still. Oh god! Actually, no. This. Dang. Okay. Okay. Getting in his blind spot definitely worked. Hitting with the sword shut it down for a second. So hitting it with the sword definitely is the way to do proper damage against it, because my my uh, my other weapons are a bit piddly. Uh, dinging off of it like trying to shoot it with a hand, like Tom Hanks with a handgun. Gently walk 
bunk over here, hide behind the building. Ah, come on! It's also annoying that they keep moving outside of the area when I'm trying to chase him down. You can't do anything about me when I'm in ya, can ya? Oh, oh, I mean you can, you can escape, I guess. Working on it, but walking on it, Walter. Ah, dang it! My health. Ah, I almost had him. I had one more sword hit away. No, I think I got this. I think I got this. I'm sure there's probably like a, a better way of fighting him, but I'm gonna beat him my way, and then you can tell me how I was supposed to beat him. Like, I was one hit off getting him that time. Sneaky, sneaky. What? And I'm here. <laughs> ah, stop hiding outside the area. I can't go over there. Fight. Ah, come on. Okay, a little bit more, a little bit more. Heal, 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 heal. My fifth attempt. I'm happy with that. Let's see if it's got a stage two. Heavy combat helicopter is down. Okay, no, I think we're good. That's all for our work here today, Here's the call sign for that license. Yeah, what animal am I? Raven! Ah, oh, okay. It's not as cool as uh, Bunky Horse, whatever I was before, but I'll take Raven. Rank F. Oh. For three days. After that, uh... Can I get an extension to my license? Maybe that's the next mission when I go and, uh... When I go and queue at the post office. I got zero penalties. That's quite good. 
I guess all of the kills I did were le were you know legal. I didn't like tackle anyone. I don't know how penalties work in football. A sublime substance discovered on Rubicon, a planet on the frontier of developed space. For a time, coral was a revolutionary energy resource and data conduit, poised to transform the human up. society by leaps and bounds. They called it the fires of Ibis, a storm of flame that tore through the stars leaving lethal contamination in its wake. Coral, the kindling, was thought to have been utterly consumed, forever lost. However, on Rubicon, the embers continued to burn. Humanity would inevitably return to stoke the fire. I'm actually so ignorant of the Armored Core series, I don't know if they're like standalone games like Final Fantasy or if they are actually sequels. That could have been Armored Core 5 they were just talking about. I don't know. I don't think it matters all that Registration much. Registration number RB23. Call sign Raven. Authentication complete. Oh, look at that little bird emblem. Moving MIA status. Restoring access privileges. This is All Mind, the mercenary support system. Welcome back, Raven. That'd be awkward if I run into someone who actually knows who I am. Maybe that'll come up later. Looks like you passed the authentication. Raven. That's who you are now. You're on Rubicon. I've picked up some work for you already. Take a look, 621. This notification follows restoral of access privileges. Hey, thanks for the follow, Big Drandy. All Mind provides Much a combat training simulator to so I, be, I beat the helicopter. How was I supposed to beat that? Your license was in a suspended state. Perhaps you may need a refresher. As an added incentive, completion of the exercises will be rewarded with AC parts. You stand Ooh. to benefit regardless. So here's well done on a, on a job well done. Here's an arm. Like, thanks. Well, you beat him was the way I beat him. Okay, good to know. I wasn't, I wasn't too doing it too badly there. Just get in its face and hit it with your sword. Yeah. All right. This is this is this is what I wanted to do is just build my robot. Uh, I mean, you know, the game the game's fine. You know, that's fine. But the building the robot's the important part. All right. Custom AC assemblies. Uh, make sure you build keeps within the maximum height and EN load parameters. Okay. So you can't just. You can't just go full. Oh, I actually don't have anything, do I? Well, I can change my paint job at least, I guess. Pastel pink is delightful, but it's not the it's not the shocking pink that I am. Um, uh, change the coloration on your AC. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, if I'm gonna have a proper a proper pink lightning, it's gotta be. Let's go full chrome. Reflectiveness one, luster one. Oh, I'm gonna be the shiniest boy. Okay, I'm okay for the secondary colors to be black. That's fine. Then let's make support 
white. Again, full chrome though. Device we're gonna make. Oh, I can use some preset pinks, that's a lot easier. shiny as possible. Pink lights. Uh, weathering. Ooh, how rusty do I want to be? Now I want to be. I want to be a a brand new boy. Do I have any lightning? Oh, I don't think I have any lightning. I get some flame decals. So that's pretty cool. I'm trying to be rude. Are you trying to make Barney? <laughs> It's my, my default mech is the is the pink lightning. It's just which is what I go for, but I don't have any lightning. Uh, maybe I can I guess I can unlock patterns later. Ooh, oh no, I do like that. Ooh, the stars are lovely though. My mech's not going to be the nicest to look at, but. People will know, people will know who I am. Wait, so all of that colouring I just did, does that, it's just completely overwritten by the, uh, This is fine. Apply to all. <laughs> How do I just apply this to all? Like, did that not save as a user? Right, hang on. How do I... How do I save this? There we go. And then... Boom, okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, that is hard to look at. That is difficult to look at. <laughs> Alright, we may need... To, uh, mm, may need to rethink this. Let's see what it looks like on the whole thing. I'm just... Uh, the colour's fine. But the pattern might be tough to look at for extended periods of time. <sighs> like, it does look... I mean, it looks delicious. Don't get me wrong, but I don't know how effective it is as a robot. Oh, go back to the top and you can paint the whole thing. Oh, entire frame. Ah, yes. Thank you. That is a time saver. Hmm. 
It's it's a lot, isn't it? <laughs> uh Oh, all units. Oh, so that does the guns as well. Do do I want the guns? <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's just see what it looks like. I mean... Oh, we're going for some decals on it. What do we got? Oh yeah, this is great. This is great. Are we Raven? Where's our... Where, where, where's the Raven? There we go. Perfect. Create images for use as decals or pilot emblems. Ooh, okay, that... This is not something I'm going to do right now. But maybe between streams I will, uh... Maybe, be yeah, maybe between streams I will go in a bit more detail. Um... Okay, I'm just going to... Gonna see what other patterns look like. Like the colours. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. That looks like wrapping paper. Oh, that looks. That doesn't look too bad. Oh, let's go. Tell you what, I'll keep I'll keep the the spirals for my guns and stuff, and we'll make the. There we go. Well, that looks that that looks like at least somewhat. <laughs> bearable to look at. <laughs> Trying to think of the right word that is like eh, not good, but bearable. All right, check incoming jobs and sort on missions from the missions menu. Uh, I guess we'll just work from the top down. Got a job for you, 621. This is an open call from the Balaam Group, one of the corporate forces occupying Rubicon. Attention, all independent mercenaries! This request comes from our affiliate, Dothan. Rubicon Liberation Front has deployed Baos artillery throughout the contaminated city. The city itself has no strategic value. But we cannot allow them to hinder expansion of the Coral Survey. Show us your ambition. Destroy the Liberation Front's artillery. Bonus pay will be awarded for destroying their MTs. We want the enemy weakened. Ooh, I like bonus pay. Consider it an opportunity to prove yourself. Impress us, mercenaries! Let's go. I like that missions. The client doesn't care who does this job. As long as it gets done. Uh, uh, advertise like five ads in, in the future. Not just like, you know, like a website with a with a written request on it or anything. It's like, no, no, we've we've spent marketing budget on this uh, on this mission trailer. Oh yeah, there we go. Destroy all of the Rubicon Liberation Front's artillery placements. The. The Liberation Front are gonna know the name of the Pink Raven when I'm done. Uh, oh, okay, maybe not. Oh, those are little baby helicopters. 
I assume it is. Let's find out. That's one of the artillery placements. Ah, I was hoping my sword would be pink, but it's still green. of helicopters and then you just see all of the rest of the helicopters be taken down by a single bullet. Do you just think, nah, we can get him. We got this. I mean, you didn't even scratch my paintwork. I wasn't sure if uh, the last ones were kind of docile, so... I just kind of assumed you died. Don't give them another inch. We have to defend the artillery. In my other attack. Or oh, just. Oh, no. and then I hop down the gap. Uh, to give myself cover. All according to plan. Clear out the artillery here and our work is over. Who's talking? Oh, was it you? I mean, you do stand as one. You were completely on your own there. Like, if you had friends, they were not helping. One repair kit remaining. Now. easier than fighting the helicopter at least. I defeat the turrets with two helicopter shows and like, oh god damn it! Damn you from software! I did it. I did it. Nah, <laughs> your bullets do nothing. Oh, look at that, I made 133 euros. 
thousand euros. <laughs> One new message. <coughs> 133 euros wouldn't be very much at all. This is a notification from Allmind, the mercenary support system. Registration number RB23. Call sign Raven. Your return to mercenary activities has been acknowledged. Restoring access to the parts shop. Oh, let's go. Right. Ooh. I do like that I can just get a giant Robocop pistol. It's kind of hard to see how cool it is with my my horrible swirly pattern on it, but good to know. And I can get a bazooka. Or do I just go double hand cannons? I, I really like my sword, though. Can I not get another sword? Dual missile launcher. Uh, I can afford that. Uh, pulse shields. Oh, here we go. Don't buy the hand cannon. Now, see, I know you're trying to help, but telling me that is just making me want to buy the hand cannon. I am the worst person to give advice to, trust me. Oh, I just want to play with my toys, but it's so expensive. I suppose I should. Get new guns before I buy parts. I do like the options, though. Oh, that's very Gundam. I like the VP bits. But they, they are also, like, uh, second most expensive. Maybe save up until I can buy the whole shebang in one go. I have the idea of just getting like a really massive torso and then tiny arms and legs. <laughs> uh, I'm sure I'll have enough money to play around a bit more later. Um... shoulder weapon if you want a left shoulder. Yeah, that's the one that I don't have anything on, isn't it? The left. So maybe a shield? Or I could get a matching missile launcher. That's a BML. Or I could get two, two new BMLs. 144. No, I can't quite... Tell you what, I'll buy a new... And then I'll buy a pulse shield. And then, do I have enough money to buy anything else? See, I know you said not to buy the hand cannon, but now I really want to try the hand cannon.
Alright, let, let me try out for one mission. I'll buy one. I've still got my sword. So... It looks like I'd catch it on, like, doors and things when I turned a corner. I mean, not doors. There aren't doors when you're this big. But you know what I mean. Alright. Uh, grid cleanup. This is worth less, so I assume this is going to be an easier mission. So this is a good time to try out the... To try out the gun, see if I like it. Got a job for you, six two one. It's an open call from the Archibus Group, one of the extraplanetary corporate forces. To all independent mercenaries. If you don't like, you can resolve it to the same amount of money. Oh, that's good. I that that that's that's good. That encourages experimentation a little bit, then. That's nice. Your objective is to destroy an MT squad sent by Dafung, a Balam company, and a competitor. Grid 135 is a key foothold in Archivist's efforts to conduct a coral survey in the contaminated city. You, the independent mercenaries, are the key to maintaining our lead in the coral survey race. The Archivist group looks forward to news of your success. Thanks, Archivist. Briefing over, and happy hunting. Like maybe if you just sent me a doc like a paper document, I could get more reward money. So you got to pay like a cameraman. Well, I mean, I suppose probably a drone pilot. Another attention, six two one. Oh, now that—that's the story we don't hear of. The cameraman who films all of the mission videos, who goes out there with his crew, and it's like this is really dangerous work, and it does not pay well. Main system activating combat mode. Okay. Commence mission. Wipe out the Dafung MT squad. Oh, I'm like Robocop. But pink. I like three guys in the drone. No, I'm imagining them and they're like a like a proper like old school camera van. And they uh, they drive up and have to sneak into the base. And it's like, okay, well, we need a good establishing shot of these turrets. Otherwise, the robot won't know what to fight. Like, come on, Steve. Come on, Jeff. We got this. I probably shouldn't fall down there, right? Still. I guess it's it's a little tedious having to uh, sort of constantly pull the triggers as opposed to being able to hold it down. Crawl of them to put that helicopter fight in, I think, because that is quite a tough fight compared to how easy the rest of the missions are. Bye. Uh. 
Yeah, no, okay, that's... <laughs> that's my bad for targeting the wrong guy, I guess. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. I mean, there is actually a Robocop game I could just play. Do you want to need to buy the hand cans because you miss sometimes? Oh, is the accuracy lower on it? Is that it? But it feels cool. Imagine if I had two of them. Go for your shield. Oh, do I have to actually activate the shield myself, do I? That makes sense. I kind of thought it was just like passive. But I also, yeah, didn't think about it because I was just like, yeah, I am taking damage. And there's no like, I'll be honest, I forgot I equipped it. I was distracted with the hand can. Oh, I just realized. Hang on. Registration number RB23. Call sign Raven. Your records have been I just realized this isn't <laughs> You have Hang also on. been granted access to participate in the Log Hunt program. We kindly request uh, that you submit combat we logs go. after destroying designated craft. All Mind will reward you with parts based on the number of submissions you provide. I had it zoomed in slightly because I was streaming Sonic on when on Tuesday? Yeah. You've been invited to join Log Hunt. One of, oh, it's like a group chat. One of All Mind's mercenary support programs. Discover and destroy targets marked with a Log Hunt target to obtain combat logs for submission. Collect combat logs and improve your hunter class. Oh, lovely. It's like a little, like a little, uh, Easter egg. It's, uh, what do you call it? Um, not Easter egg. <laughs> um, scavenger hunt. Oh, that's lovely. Alright, well, I can't afford anything unless I want to get a no. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Um, though, I mean, I, I mean, you can't deny it looks cool having two pistols. But no, the sword is so useful. Let's save up some money so we can buy some body parts. You have to hold it down to stay up and you get staggered if it gets damaged. Ah, okay, like Smash Brothers. That's not a comparison I thought I'd be making today with this game. But here we are. Got a job for you, 621. The Balaam Group sent a request. Raven, this request comes from Dafa, one of our affiliates. has committed to use of military force to handle the Rubicon Liberation Front. The target for this mission is a squad of transport choppers. Destroy them. Oh. You'll encounter guerrilla resistance from Baus mass produced MTs. They're no great concern. <laughs> it's like, I don't think we should be this close to filming these robots, Steve, and it's like, it's okay, it's Jeff. They haven't spotted us yet, just keep filming! And I want to pan it! You bring to the team. I want you to film if we run from that pile of rubble to that pile of rubble so we can get a nice panning shot. I just realized only my head is metallic. I did, the metallic didn't carry over to the rest of the, uh, the rest of my, um, my body for some reason. I think it's, uh, okay, well, I'll fix that after this. I can be more garish, is what I'm saying. Um, I am just gonna tweak the audio a little bit. Uh, let's put the voice volume at the top. Mission. Destroy the Rubicon Liberation Front transport choppers. We're under attack. It's a corporate merc. Intercept. Aye. Uh, oh, okay. Now these are way smaller. I mean, not that much smaller. Yeah. Oh, 
I, I just, I really do want to do one mission where I got two hand cannons. I just think it'd be cool. Though I do like the sword. Now, if I had two swords. Thing they didn't try and like take off in the attack helicopters because they probably could have done. I was distracted for long enough there. Dude, I'm not telling you what to do. <laughs> I like I'm, I'm sure you're right that the hand cannon isn't good, but it looks so cool. I, I'm gonna do it for the next mission. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go double hand cannon just to. Ignore it or blow it up? Oh. oh, he's got a sword too! And he's got tank legs! Oh, is it, can I, if I kill him, can I take his tank legs? It's like Metabot. Yeah, my shield overheated. Okay, yeah, this guy is beefy. I can see why they told me to ignore him. Blades at the end there, and he he came out on top. Okay, I I uh, kind of oh do I not? I don't have a <laughs> checkpoint. I kind of thought that, they, that he would be a bit so, a bit uh, squishier than he was, and then I was like, oh yeah, no, this guy. They, I can see why they told me to ignore this guy. I mean, I'm gonna absolutely fight him again. I Walter knows what he's talking about. I should pay more attention to Walter. Yeah, I, I, I did I did have the lock on on him, and then I forgot, and then... I'm, I'm still sort of taking it all in. It's fine, it's fine. I'll, 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 I'll figure it out. My shield's better than yours. Sorry, dude. <laughs> it's kind of, kind of uh, rude to just plow past a guy trying to actively try to kill me. Like, yeah, you're not really worth paying attention to. Where, where's your friend? Did he explode? Yeah, I think he exploded. Ow! Two repair 
seconds remaining. Oof. You were to beat that big guy with your beard. It, yeah, I, I was I, I was very close, I think, on that attempt. Uh, but I just went for a uh, sword attack at the end there kind of recklessly. and We crossed blades. Yeah, the hack end doesn't have a lot of ammo, does it? I could get another hit in there, and then I. Can do this. Don't know why. Yeah, I took a bit too many hits there. I'm still going in a bit too recklessly for this. I need to. I need to fight this thing a bit more sensibly. Oh, but he gives me a combat lock. Is that okay? So that's for that. That support group that I got invited to. Destroy the Rubicon Liberation Front transport choppers. That's good to know. Corporate Intercept! Keep them off the supplies! I don't know why I'm not using the shield when I'm fighting regular guys. I'm sort of thinking like, oh I should I should save my shield for for when I uh I fight the big guy, and it's like, oh, I really don't need to. Please attack the guy in front of me. Yeah! It's 
Because that's what I needed. I just needed to take it a bit slower. Got the tetrapod, huh? You're a natural with this 61. Hell yeah, I am. Just ignore the two timelines where I died. Not close to your target, your weapon can ricochet. Oh, can do I want them to ricochet or is ricochet does it ricochet back at me? Like do they ricochet and like shoot other robots? Oh, okay, so it's literally Watch just... Yeah, okay. Well, I'm glad I killed that guy. I'm never going to run away from an optional fight. Unless I'm like... Unless it's, it's like a situation where it's like, no, no, you really cannot fight this guy yet. Come back. Like, this guy is Lu Bu. So I'm still under... My boost speed goes down, but my aptitude, defensive performance, AP will go up. That's the important thing. Still under load, so that's fine. Okay, I'm just gonna do one mission with double pistols. Cause I wanna see. I wanna see. frame. Oh, here we go. Oh, your internet dropped out, did it? Oh, you, you missed my, uh, my climactic win over the other robot then. It went a lot better than all of my other attempts. Can I make these more? Oh, I can make these more shiny as well. This is necessary. Yeah, look at me now. All right. I got two, I'm, I'm shiny. I got my two pistols. Let's uh, go. This is going to go terribly, I can tell. Got a job for you, 621. It's an open call from the Archivist group. To all independent mercenaries, this request comes from Schneider of the Archivist group. 
Hi, Schneider. Dafung, one of our adversaries allied with Balaam, has introduced a new tester AC. It's a sample model from an external architect, featuring extensive assembly optimizations. In the hands of an experienced pilot, it will pose a threat far too great to ignore. Ooh, can I have this one? brings me to the request. Intercept delivery of the tester AC and destroy it. The Archivist group looks forward to news of your success. How about I Breaking intercept the delivery and, and then I take its arms or something? Yes? No. Okay. The target may be a product sample, but it's still an AC. Stay sharp, 621. Don't worry, Walter. I got this. You can buy a part right now. Oh, is it already parts that I have? Is it already a mech that I have parts for already, is it? Oh, okay. That's a shame. Main system, activating combat mode. Oh, look at me. Commence mission. Witness me. We've got a read on Shiny and crow. Now's the time, 621. Let's see how double hand cannons work. This is going to be a mistake, I can tell, but... It's my mistake to make. Sword. Two repair kits remaining. Hang your computer. Can, and you will. You'd be dying a lot quicker as well if I had my sword. Unfortunately, I thought this would be cool. Sign for you. Dead meat. <laughs> I'm the hero of this game. Uh. Yeah, the two double hand guns suck. <laughs> Once for, I'm gonna swap back. I, I wanted to, I'm glad I tried it out though, but yeah, they're really not useful as a weapon. Well, 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 Handler Walter. Oh, it's G1 Michigan. Oh, your hound's been up in my business, I'm surprised you'd even dare to call. <coughs> about my proposal. Yeah, you sure about that? I'll be working your hound just as hard as any other red gun. Gen 4s can be emotionally withdrawn. They need a shot in the arm every now and then. Then you got a deal. I'll send Volt to Iguasu. They'll give your latest hound a proper red gun welcome. In a good way. Like, we got out for drinks and, like, pie. One new message. No. Oh. So I will I will catch up on chat when I've uh, about the tester AC you downed. When people stop talking. That was being shipped to the red guns. Balaam's in house. 
close AC squad. They're Balaam's main force, and its members are no amateurs. Remember who you're messing with. You're the one giving me these jobs. There's an upgrade that lets you put your sword in your right arm and you can grab it anytime you want. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Oh, right shoulder. They don't actually suck. I mean, they got the job done, but it is annoying having to constantly, like, pull the triggers. Like, they're fine, you know. Do I have the upgrade that lets me use my sword? Reduce missile lock time. Uh, specifications model demand likely come into match with the Ian. That's just a generator. Does that, does that just increase my... That's not bad. I mean, I can't afford anything, but it's nice to look at. No, oh, yeah, you can get it soon. Okay. Well, I'm looking forward to getting more... More stuff. Double bazookas also sounds like a fun combination. Um... I'm gonna stick with the uh, the hand cannon and uh, sword part. There you go. Uh, I'm gonna I stick to the hand cannon and uh, sword combination. That seems to be working. The bazookas suck. Okay. <laughs> but imagine it. Double explosions. Like, one explosion's great. Two explosions, that's like really great. Got a job for you, 621. You're joining an operation planned by Balaam HQ. Check the briefing. Heard the good news from Walter, did ya? Good, sit your ass down and listen. Balaam's moving in on the Gallia Dam complex, one of the Liberation Front's bases. Wait. Am I doing a job the for the people whose mech I just destroyed? Is I'm this sending two good for nothing maggots from the red guns? Gun four Volta and gun five Iguasu. You? You're just gonna be tagging along on ass wiping duty. I'm assigning you the call sign gun thirteen. A lucky little number that just became available. This feels like a trap. Sound off. Who are? This feels like a trap. Like, I just blew up their mech. That right, should be fine. Gun 13, huh? I'll stick with 621. There's better bazookas than those. Ah, so what you're saying is I should wait till later in the game to get double bazookas. Got it. Friends. I wonder if they're embarrassed to be seen with me. Squad red guns reporting for duty. Commence mission. Attack! Get in there, you maggots! Great. An independent merch. It's the wise guy who decided the red gun should be taking care of some freelancers. I, I know when to shut up. Which is all of the time. How about that? Guess you're not a total amateur. It's ruin their railings. Good for. Can't say I considered you a pro either. We don't need backseat drivers in the red guns. Shake up or ship out. That takes care of the frontline and tease. 
was just a warm up. Look alive, maggots! Oh, man. Can you guys shut up? <laughs> Keep moving, 621. Like, I just want to. I got my. I, it's nice and quiet when I'm on my own. I, I mean, I, I would join the sewing club, though. I'm quite happy for that. Or, you know, a bit of crochet. Some embroidery. I'm easy. I have no friends. Just Walter, and I don't know who... I think he put more... It's more that he puts up with me rather than likes me. Combat log. Oh. How do I tell whether it's a combat log? Or is it just. Wait, can I see the map? I'll stay still, because I keep turning around. From where I am now, where do I need to go? This way, okay. So I go over here, isn't it? Is it in this base? Oh, is it those guys over on the mech? Uh, over on the uh, dam, even. Is there some way that I'm... Okay, so I'm the small guys, that's fine. Is it is it those guys on the on the dams that I need to kill? Like I don't know how you tell that there's a combat log. Is it just you just have to find enemies off the beaten path, or... It is those, okay. Oh, there he is! I see him. Alright, well, let me take care of these guys on the... been easier if I'd brought my uh, friends along, wouldn't it? have green lights. Okay, so I just need to fight. So it's always enemies and I just need to sort of go off the beaten path sometimes to find them. Good to know. 
Cyclist, you can't go your hand cannon is ricocheting. So is ricocheting good or bad? Like, is ricocheting, like, does that hit other people or does it hit me or does it just... Hey, I'm back. I went and kill a guy. Oh, that lady said that earlier. That must be their little, uh... Like, witness me! Oh, this guy's... This guy's a bit more, uh... A bit more of a problem than I thought he was gonna be. I am almost out of ammo as well for my pistol. Shoulder ammunition at fifty per cent. Right hand ammunition depleted. Okay, I have no more hand gun. This is going to be a bit trickier now, but. I, fortunately, I have my friends with me. Why be a mere pawn? What honor is there in serving corporations that exist only to kill and plunder? Money. Shoulder ammunition at thirty percent. Kill stole. Oh, I've got another combat log. Confirmed. Enemy AC destroyed. <coughs> Gun 13. Guess you're not just tagging along anymore. Now hurry up and destroy that stinking old dam. We've got a job to do here. Looks like we got competition. <laughs> you got lucky, freelance. Um, you guys are going to really need to help me out, because <laughs> I don't know that I've got enough AP to do this. Risk damage from your weapon. Oh, and it doesn't do much impact. Okay. I'm just going to keep hopping up there with my shield out and shooting them with missiles, because... One of them. Ammunition at ten percent. Light shoulder ammunition depleted. Okay. Please let it be the end of the mission. Because I have, I have nothing left. I am spent. Okay, we're good. Oh, that was by the skin of my teeth right there. But I got two more, which gave me uh, a level of. I got some legs! Oh no, I got some arms! Sorry, they look like legs. Oh, okay, so that gets me... Okay, so that's how I get free parts. Is by destroying... Uh, mini-bosses. One new message. <laughs> you got lucky, Merc. You were the only warm body they could find. The red guns are going to be first over the wall. Have fun watching from the sidelines. Okay, I will. Thanks, Iguazu. Man, he seems like a cool dude. Uh, ooh, okay, so these are a lot lighter.
AP up, defense performance up. Boost goes down a little, but otherwise, yeah, that's good. Do I have enough money? Anything cool? Uh, I can't get any. I only got a head. Can't get any head or torso. I get a new booster. That doesn't do a whole lot though. Uh, actually, let's get a, let's get a new gun. Uh. Burst rifle. It can be charged to fire burst shots. Mm. I might just go back to my uh, my assault rifle. Although I do like the um, <coughs> I, I do like my pistol. I, I'll stick with the pistol for a bit longer. Uh, no, I just got new arms. By the circuit board. Close range assist, medium range assist, long range assist. Okay. Makes sense. And then I'll buy the boosters as well. There we go. That works. My EN load is almost at max, though, but that's okay. I get an expansion later. Eat. Oh, hang on. There we go. Now people, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna decorate my uh, my mech with the different decals I get as I go. Like, you know, like how people decorate, used to decorate their suitcases with, with stickers from the countries they visited. Just like, this, you, you joined this team briefly. Destroy the weaponized mining ship. Ooh, okay, that's a real big boy. Circle would give you better accuracy for your rockets. Oh, that's what the lock, okay, that's what that is. Assist yeah, because it's not great at the moment. I miss it, it like unless they're basically standing still, it misses. Raven. This request comes from Schneider, an archivist subsidiary. Hi, Schneider. Oh, I thought Schneider was a guy. The mission will take place in the Bonadea dunes of Western Bellius. Our coral investigation there is being blocked by the Strider, a Rubicon Liberation Front mining ship. You are to destroy it. I'm gonna need more the ammo. The is a mobile resource base that was extensively weaponized by the Liberation Front. Call it the crowning glory of their efforts to militarize into an anti-corporate force. Your attack will focus on the Eye, a giant laser cannon connected directly to the main generator. It's protected by a shield, which is powered by auxiliary sub-generators. These should be your first targets. This concludes the briefing. Good luck. We're gonna fly around and wrap cables around the lake so it trips over. Good luck. Uh, yeah, just, just go. Time for a little self-promotion, 621. Might have a Don't need more ammo, you just need to learn how to use it right. Well, it's... <laughs> That's unlikely to happen, so let's just let's just bank on more ammo. I can get like a drum or something, right? We can get like a like a backpack with a couple of extra clips in. We're good. System activating combat mode. Commence mission. First, get oh. all that dust and make contact with the strider. Yeah, I think that's it. Why did I beep? An unidentified AC. Must be one of the corporation's dogs. Woof. Activate the eye. Burn them away. Yes, sir! Coral! Abide with Rubicon! Abide with Rubicon. 
Oh god, it's... Woo! I mean, is that thing designed to shoot targets as small as me? Because it doesn't feel like it is. Yeah! Yeah, I'd noticed that, Chief. Don't worry, I'm all over it. I'll just get around the front of it where it can't shoot me. Ow, 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 ow! Just as planned! <laughs> Let's go well! Let's try that again. Main system. Activating combat. It's not designed for that, but it can two shot you. Well, dodging, dodging the laser was fine. It was dodging the missiles out from the. What I should have done is gone up. Which is, they did, they did teach me with the helicopter fight right at the beginning, so. That was my own. That was my own fault. An unidentified AC must be one of the corporation's dogs. Activate the eye. Burn them away. Yes, sir. Coral, abide with Rubicon. Abide with Rubicon. I'm gonna, gonna keep an eye on the eye. Ow. Okay, didn't dodge it that time. Okay, I think I'm out of its range now. There we go. Fly up for the missiles. And let's boost. Alright, now you're up close and personal. Take out one of its legs and bring it to a halt. Oh, okay. What? They evaded the eye laser. <laughs> All hands. Prepare for close range combat. Intercept. Water, I'm shooting with my pistol and it's not doing anything. Let's maybe not get underneath her. Uh, hang on, is there one of those launcher platform things? How do I get high? Oh, there we go. Of course, target, target the one that's exposed, that makes sense. Okay, I feel like this is a job for my missiles. When it stops moving, this is a job for my missiles. Could, could you put your foot down? Thank you. Missiles, are you, like, hitting anything? You don't feel like you... There we go. Confirmed. Strider leg compromised. It's going down. The we... Oh. They are, the harder they fall. I should not be underneath this thing. Underneath it was apparently a bit big. Oh, it tipped over on its side. I see what happened there. Okay. I mean, I had the right idea. Oh, I checkpointed. That's good. I ha I had the right idea. Oh, excellent. Good. All right, now we've got a foothold to get on the deck. Grab on and get to work on the sub generators. We've lost sight of him, he's just hiding under here, he's going hee hee hee. 
Thank you, Ward. I'm gonna take a lunch break. Union mandated, sorry. Am I in a union? I don't think I'm in a union. I stole a license off of a dead pilot. Was Raven in a union? Walter, if I survive this, can we discuss unions? I've got these egg sandwiches and I'm really peckish, that's all. Ah! Wait, didn't it just shoot itself with its own laser? That can't be good for it. Hi. Mandated lunch breaks, Walter. No, didn't mean it. I'm okay. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. I can re I can get back up. I can get back up. God! AP at 50%. I missed the robot. Oh, that's okay. That doesn't count as a death. I gotta wait till he lands before I try and turn around. Generators destroyed. Otherwise, he boosts. The ice shield is offline. Head to the front segment and hit the target. Two repair kits remaining. This is like it's so easy. Raven was in a union. You'll see what I mean. Okay. Something to look forward to. Celebrating and run. Damn hyenas. Never think of planet. 
I went the wrong direction, annoyingly. I'm fine. I'm fine. This is fine. No, I don't. I wanted to look behind me while I boosted like a cool guy. Oh, wait, no. Cool guys don't look behind them. Yay. I feel like I should have some sort of a moat so I can, like, dance when I... Quick boosting, press your jump button or quick boosting to cancel it. Oh, I think what I was doing is I was boosting over and then I was turning around before I hit the ground and so it was picking me up as you dodging or something. I don't know. I presume, for the independent mercenary Raven. Honored to make your acquaintance, V2 Snail. Nah, <laughs> that's a lame cool I side. understand you want to join Operation Wall Climber. You do realize that do disposing we? of some Liberation Front garbage hardly qualifies you. Know your place, you meager dog sitter. The answer is no. I blew up. I hear you're deploying V1 again. Must be rough only having one good pilot to rely on. Oh, are you suggesting your dog can take Freud's place? You'll see. Just give us the chance. I'm going to fight Freud. Very well then. We're also deploying V4. Who's been equally brazen of late? Let's see how they both perform. Oh, I wanted to fight Freud. I just throw cigars at him. Dazzle him. One new message. Raven, your work on the Strider deserves commendation. Thank you. I am thrilled to have issued you the request. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the Archivist Group's mercenary liaison. I am Archivist Group's social Me, manager. Peter, We'd like to tweet about this. I think I'll enjoy doing business with you. Yeah, I got a new emblem. Oh, new parts. And I have money. Right, first of all. Suitcase up with the Archibus group. Excellent. Let's see what parts I've got. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh it's a halo rifle. Oh, actually, it is. It's like a plasma rifle. Laser rifle, bazooka. Ooh, shotgun. Hello. Still no new sword yet, but that's fine. What else have I got? Oh, it's a rail gun. Maybe. Double laser guns. I've got to say, I forgot that I had my cannon during that last mission. I wasn't really getting hit by much. Still can't afford a new torso. Maybe I'll just wait till I get a free torso. Oh, look at these chicken legs, though. Nactria. Oh, they must be German. <coughs> uh, let me generate up my weight a little bit, but. If you're going to get your butt kicked with Freud. Uh, we'll see about that. Sure. I mean, I don't doubt you. You're probably, you're probably right, but. EN short for. Okay, so I, I can't equip that because I don't have enough energy. I definitely can't equip two, is what I'm learning. I mean, a plasma rifle sounds fun. As rifle explosions create damage-inflicting area remains active for a brief period of time. Charging weapon causes the plasma fire to scatter. 
producing multiple explosions. Oh, or I, I mean, I could buy the chicken legs. Lightweight reverse drone legs uh, sacrifice stability and defensive performance for an exceptional jumping performance, enabling agile transitions to area combat. Oh, actually, no, I don't, I, that doesn't really match my style. Anyway, by for legs with balance, the simple design, soft performance, small makes it suit for mass production. I don't want a mass production one. I want to be cool. All right, we'll save up. We'll, we'll save. We'll save our money. Let's get. Let's get. Let's get. Uh... I kind of want to go for the shotgun. Yeah, let's try the shotgun out. Let's try the shotgun out, and let's upgrade. Try a vertical missile launcher, that sounds cool. Yeah. Feeling good. Legs suck. I mean, I guess I, I mean I could see the appeal of them, but yeah, not not for my play style. But the shotgun, I'm glad to hear the shotgun's good. Let's let's find out how good. This request comes straight from Archibus headquarters. They want you to assist with a mission the corporations are calling Operation Wall Climber. This is V2 Snare, leader of the Vesper Second Squad. I will chair the briefing for this mission. This is an operation of my own design. Consider it a privilege to be called to participate. You will be attacking... I respect Snail's confidence. ...a confidence. trading outpost fortified by the Rubicon Liberation Front. The rabble have formed a defensive line comprised of artillery and MT squads. Break through the line, then make your way to the top of the wall. There you shall find the Juggernaut, Ooh. a mobile heavy artillery platform. Destroy it. Big boy. V4 will also be participating in this mission, infiltrating through a separate route. However, be aware that Balaam has also taken a crack at the wall, only for their vainglorious hopes to be dashed. Do try not to die like a dog out there. I won't. I'll die like a raven. Ha <laughs> ha. Got it. Your objective <coughs> is to take the Liberation Front Fortress. Show them you're worth the credits. Six two one. There's a lot of cash on the line here, so he's always going to be overconfident. I mean, he's I, like, I, like I said, I admire I admire that level of confidence. He's like, you know, main system activating. Combat. You can write me a thank you letter once this mission's over for the privilege of being able to work with me. We'll start by clearing the way for our. We spawn and go to the left. Take out the Gatling oh, is there a the uh, is there a mini boss over here? Empty further in. There's heavy fire coming from up top. Six two one. Keep an eye out for cover. Rifle. I was thinking, man, this thing's slow. And then I remembered, oh no, I got the shotgun, didn't I? This has gone not, not well. Take 
close to the wall. Go back to that wreckage. Oh, what, that burning thing there? Okay. G4. Oh, wait, no, G4 was the. It was a Guazu! Or the other guy, I can't remember. Guazu may have been G3. The record extracted from a wreck, an incomplete message sent from one member of the Red Guns to another. Apparently, just before death. Guazu, I'm telling you, man, you got to give Michigan a chance. He's different from the suits of HQ. Look, I know he's an asshole, but he's looking out for us, you know? We almost like we got a hot family here. And if there's anyone who deserves punching out, it's the freak who sent us on this suicide mission. It'd be the good day to go away, well, wish I. 50%. Maybe he should be focusing more on the combat rather than sending a voicemail to his BFF. the sense of scale when you just find like a little door and staircase. Okay, you kind of lose it when you're just running around as a big giant robot, but... Okay, in hindsight, I feel like a sniper rifle or something, or a long-range gun would have been quite good for this level, but... No repair kits remaining. Here now. Right. Uh, destroy the city Gatling and Tetrapod M2. Hold on, let me clear the wall out first. At least now I don't have to worry about being shot by these guys when I'm down here fighting these guys. Now I'm just like, ah! <laughs> yes, now I'm just like, ah! Okay, I, like, I do like these new missiles. It's all snowy like this. It's like I'm ice skating. It's lovely. Oh, 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 oh. I 
want to, I want to take care of those uh, turrets first. I maybe took a bit too much damage early. I took a bit too much damage at the start there, so I, uh, yeah, I gotta restart the whole freaking thing. Main system, activating combat mode. Okay. Commence mission. We'll start by clearing the way for Archibus. Take out the Gatling cannons protecting the city, and the Baus Tetrapod MT further in. There's heavy fire coming from up top. Six two one. Keep an eye out for cover. Yeah, I'll get the battle log again, don't worry. Never climb the wall, Corporation Dog! Coral! Apply with Rubicon! We're under attack! They're in the city! Just one AC. Pricks are the ones that like did me in. Well, I was trying to fight the other guys, so I'm just going to take out all the wall turrets, and then I can I can fight without worry. Take out these two this time as well. So it's just one less thing to worry about when I fight the next guy. Oh, he's already there. That's all the artillery destroyed. Now I can, uh... We'll ignore him for a second. We'll come back. Yeah, 
the boss. The mini boss. Or maybe it's a full boss. I saw you. Okay, and then... We got a red dot here. Round behind it. So ricochet, yeah, that means I'm too far away. I gotta. Got it. Mouse tetrapod and right, checkpoint. That significantly reduces the threat in the city. Access the bulkhead and break into the wall. So now I can die. I mean, I don't know where from, though. Not my problem. Confirmed. We're inside the wall. Be prepared for close quarters combat. I would have put some dudes in this corridor. Or some turrets or something. checkpoint so I should be okay but if I have to fight another you dude I'm probably the target is close. I'm probably out of luck I find, I find like a bonfire to sit at so I can recover my healing my repair kit or an Estus or you know, like a like the, the, one of those, what are they called? Uh, the things that let you get more Estus Flask. It's been a while since I played Dark Souls. Six two one. I've dispatched a supply Sherpa. Make sure you resupply. Oh, that's exactly what I needed. Thank you.
Yay. Oh, yeah. Oh, but now all the enemies have respawned. Dawg. Oh. Oof. Frosty. Hey, are you friendly? Or do I need to kill you? You must be Raven. You must be Rusty. You're not an animal. I'm the infamous handler Walter sounds. Interesting. You ready to climb the wall? Let's go, chicken legs. That's the juggernaut, heavy mobile cannon. I wouldn't recommend taking it head on. It won't be able to keep up with steel haze. I'll distract it while you hit its blind spot. Watch out, it's coming. Okay, my sword is not much use here. Dogs me. I was just literally thinking, well this is this isn't so bad with two of us. I could see myself having trouble about to fight this on my own, and then he goes and friggin' pieces out on me and he's like, yeah, you got this. to get behind him when you're on your own. If I'd got him in the back then that would have killed him. And I'd hit him in the front where he's most armoured like an idiot. <sighs> Alright, that's fine. That's the juggernaut. Any mobile cannon. Ow. I wouldn't recommend taking it head on. It won't be able to keep up with steel haze. I'll distract it while you hit its blind spot. easy when you got a friend.
damn it! He didn't even leave that time, he just took the call. I mean, there he goes, I can see him flying away. Yeah, alright. Like, hey, maybe you don't have the right guns for this. It's like, it's fine! I can do this game. At least he didn't say, hey, do you want to turn it to easy mode? That's the juggernaut. Got here by the mic. Keep forgetting that you can do that straight up. Damn it, stop. Stop hitting him in the very heavily armored section on the front. The bit, the, like, the little square where he needs to have the thrusters. I don't know why he doesn't have a giant metal shield on the back as well. flies off before he's even, like, finished taking the message. Like, as soon as he gets to the court, he's like, alright, I'm, peace out. I'm really glad I got the vertical missiles for this one, though, because... It does make it a lot easier to hit him from the front. No, no, get behind. Light hand ammunition at 50%. If he asks, I'm just gonna say, nah, not him. You're wrong. It's the perfect plan. But I did it. That was Operation Wall Climber. One new and I made a new friend, although I lost an old friend. We're war buddies now. I think I should tell you something. During Operation Wall Climber, Archibus was planning to sacrifice you. The plan was to use independent mercenaries to clear the way so that the Vespers could step in and take over. But instead, you took the wall. The higher-ups are going to remember you now, that's for sure. In a good way or a bad way? In a good way or a bad way? Rusty? War buddy? I'm gonna buy new parts. Let's see what we got. Ooh. I thought this was gonna be a flamethrower, I'll be honest. Rapid fire pulse gun developed by Takigawa Harmonics. Destroys targets with sustained high frequency oscillation. Oh, it's like a it's like a venom. The, the, it's the thing they use Spider-Man always uses to defeat Venom. Excellent. Well, if we fight these symbiotes. Whoa. 
I've got a new I've got enough cash for a new torso. Overburdened. In a good way. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna be like, we need to take care of this guy. He's a prick. Um uh, this increases my AP aptitude output. With everything basically, defensive performance, aptitude. Lowers my boost a little bit. Yeah, let's get it. Ooh. Medium range assist. Okay. Alright, so I should probably get a new generator, and then I can get a new booster. Because apparently I have an EN shortfall. Uh, long range assist. I feel like medium range is where I'm fighting most of my stuff. So I'm going to buy that. That feels good. My stuff, my shotgun's medium range, my sword's about close range, but yeah, that looks good. Point right now, the next mission's gonna be really hard. Awesome, let's go. Oh, currently, it's five combat logs from MT Rex. Mission is complete within time limit. Oh, okay, well, let's get some combat logs because that'll give me a free part, right? One after these two, okay. Conducting an investigation into the Vespers, Archibus's augmented human squad. Currently, our focus is on their fourth squad leader, V4 Rusty. Sweep the route Rusty took during Operation Wall Climber and retrieve combat logs from the wrecks he left on his way in. The wall is now under Archibus's control, and they station their MT squads there for the Coral Survey. As such, He'll be targeting the brief window where their main force is deployed elsewhere. Keep an eye on the time and retrieve as many logs as you can. That concludes the briefing. We expect prompt so, results, Gun 13. So, yes, sir. Who are? <coughs> I'm sorry about that. Your 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 guy died. He seems to be over it though. Six two. You should be used to Rubicon by now. Time to take a break from shooting up the place. Oh, so this is just literally just running around and grabbing stuff. That's cool. We've put a big circular laser thing for you to glide through. Basically like a race course. Oh no, there are enemies. With V4 Rusty. That's what we're looking for, 61. I'll analyze it on my end. Uh, text radio extract from a wreck appears to be the audio transcription of a voice log recorded by an off duty pilot. The while we found Gary's gonna dry up sooner than later. Can't just harvest as much coal as we used to. And then what little we do get, the corpse squeeze out of us. They know we needed to raise meal worms. How many more children must we watch starve? So I like the idea that he was just really casual whilst he was fighting Rusty. He was like, 
Yeah, how many more children of staff? Oh, yeah, this guy's got me. I'm dead. Bye, guys. Like when you're chatting with your friends on, like, Xbox. Uh, a log extracted from a wreck allows one to examine the operation of craft prior to its destruction. From what this completely wiped by Rusty Speed, it's clearly a one sided engagement. This gives us some more insight about V4 skills. Extracted from the wreck allows one to discern the assembly. The steel haze appears to be assembled from a Schneider. Well, it's craft immediately pulled the emergency jet lever at the start of the operation. The smartest pilot in the game. He just went, yeah, no, I'm out of here. This is... This is, this is outside of my area. I am out of my depth. Another counter moment to you. Oh, you've been playing alongside of you. A minute. Uh, can't beat the top Vespers, we're as good as dead. At least Z is off duty. She's the Liberation Front's little sister. She doesn't deserve to be out there on the battlefield. She can still love and be loved, have a family. Oh, uh, that's one I'm probably gonna kill later. Or be friends with, or kill. Ah, what are you doing here? Analyzing. Hang on, hang on. Thank you. Just downloading. How could you? I know who you are. I've seen my uncle's files. At least tell me why. I mean, it's only worth something if we know who that guy's uncle is. Otherwise, it's basically akin to like, my uncle works for Nintendo. He knows who you are. He knows who's coming to Smash. Um, I mean, I got six. Oh, I guess it's up a bit. Maybe this way. Nope, that's the that's the border. I've clearly missed one. Otherwise, they'd be like, "Oh no, you got them all. We're out." Maybe there's more at the bottom of this ravine I missed. Oh yeah, yeah. Can I get to that in time? Oh, I got that just in time. When me comes, along will technology. Alcano, you must hidden them. Wrap it up. Archibus's main force will be here any minute now. We've got enough logs to satisfy the request. That's it for this job, 621. Return to base. But Ziyu! I need to kill this lady! I bet she's got a combat log. Like, she's got a, she had a name and everything. Oh, I can't. 
don't want to go back and kill that one, but I can think I can I can replay missions yet. Two new messages. I might be able to, I don't know. Gun 13 Raven! You bagged us some decent intel on V4. I'll report this to Commander Michigan. Dish Thanks. I'll introduce myself. Gun 6 Red. But you can call me Sir. Thanks, Red. Privileged to be among the best, even if I am stuck whipping you independence into shape. Believe you me, I'm gonna put you to work. I'll be honest, I thought you introduced yourself to me earlier. I thought you were Michigan. Uh, maybe that's a different guy. Hey, I got a new, I got a new sticker. Registration number RB23. Call sign Raven. Your records have been updated. Granting authorization to perform ACOS upgrades. Ooh. Additional. All Mind hereby invites you to the Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program. The Arena is a virtual combat simulator designed to support the development of registered mercenaries. It also serves as a benchmark to appraise and rank the mercenaries active on Rubicon. Have I unlocked multiplayer? Is we that what this is? We look forward to your participation. This is just PvP that I've unlocked. OS Tuning Arena. I mean, the OS Tuning sounds good. Uh, all right, I'm going to be about two minutes. I'm just going to go and see a man about a dog. What's this OS tuning then? Expand OST chips in your possession to upgrade your AC's OS from the OS tune menu. Oh, okay, so this is just like. Do I, I don't have any chips. OST chips can be attained in the arenas. Ah, so the arena is necessary then. Boost kick. Oh, okay, we gotta go and do the arena. I got. I wanna kick. the weapon bay, allowing shoulder weapons to be replaced with additional hand weapons. Okay, so that's the thing you're talking about that let me use swords, I guess. I'm not going to sort you when AC is overburdened. And to manually purge weapons. Purging weapons reduces weight load and improves speed. Oh, so that's what it... Okay, so when purging weapons is when I run out of ammo on it and then it just throws it away, does it? Looks a bit of manual aiming, allows for manual radical control for practical use of calls for experience technique. I probably don't need that. Quick turn. Assault armor. Okay, so yeah, that's... Well, I mean, I definitely need to get the kick. The kick is essential, so let's go and do an arena fight. 
Fight virtual battles against copies of uh, ACs created using All Minds Mercenary Draft. Win area as to an S2 ship, opponent AC data, and opponent emblems. You can use our S2 ships to perform Earth upgrades. Uh, so we've got G6 Red, Romy, and Index Dunham. Oh, I like Index Dunham. That looks like uh, that looks like Megas. Right, well, I'm going to assume it's in order of difficulty. Yeah, 29, 28, 27. So let's try it with Invincible Romy. Oh, I have a tiny bit of money. Did I can I get anything to help me with this? realize I've had my speakers on this whole time. They've not been on high, fortunately, but... Okay, this guy's not that difficult. Nearly aggressive enough. Yeah, that was really that was really easy. Target Ooh. destroyed. Concluding evaluation. Well done. Thanks, all mind. You're a nice lady slash AI. I don't know what you are. So what does that give me? I got the, I got the emblem. Did I get like his parts as well, or did I just get the emblem? Okay, just the emblem. Uh, okay, so I do want a new generator, but oh, that overburdens me. Okay, right. Oh, it's part. Boost kick. Yes. Software engineer. Uh, we will get the weapon. I'll, I'll fight another one so we can see if we can get the weapon bay. Do I want the weight control? No, nah, it's probably not something I need quite yet. Unlocks core expansion, assault armor, and allows it to be installed. Assault armor creates a pulse explosion. Left trigger, left stick was during assault boost. Okay, let's get a quick turn. We'll do another one and get the weapon bay. I mean, assuming I can defeat Index Dunham. Look at this boy. Absolutely gonna kick this man in the face. Man, robot. AI. <laughs> Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, number 28, rank F. 
Oh, uh, do you know, as much as I like my really garish neck, the thought Subject of making AC. like a Megazord Dark also pickaxe. is quite Call tempting. With like, Dunham. like Power Ranger colors. Commencing evaluation. It's fine. We, we, we're not locked into one mech for the entire game. We, we can play around. It's fine. Yeah! Assault kick! I feel like these mechs just aren't aggressive enough. I mean, it's I'm fine by me. I'm, it's three points. And I'm, evaluation. I'm well getting done. cash, so I don't care. I got a cool burning pickaxe. Sadly, I think I can I can only equip so many emblems. I think I only put like one per part. Oh, no, I can have two on my legs. Oh, hang on, there we go. Let's put let's put those two. There's a lot of customization here if you want to play around with that. Well, again, something to maybe do off stream. Uh, I guess let's go and fight G6 Red then. See how, see how good he is. Do you reckon he's going to be upset if he's going to mess with me and go, I heard you fought my. Um, you, fought, you fought my simulation and you kicked its ass. I don't know how I feel about that, son. Rank F. Final evaluation. Oh, do I rank up to rank E if I kill Subject this guy? AC. Hermit. Call sign, gun six, red. Commencing evaluation. <coughs> like the AC's gonna say otherwise. How'd you mean? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Okay, okay, red's, red's a bit trickier. Red's got a bit more going on. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we can take him, we can take him. Red's, yeah, red, okay, red, 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 red's a bit more than the other two were. Main system, activating combat mode.
got him. I think I got him. Yeah, there we go. Woo! All right, he was, he was a bit spicy. He was a bit spicy, but nothing I can't handle. This concludes F rank evaluation. Well done. Fuck yeah. That's what F rank stands for. That's a fuck yeah rank. Now I can cosplay as him. Incoming car. Congratulations, you have surpassed rank F. Thanks, All Mind. We're glad to oversee your development as a mercenary. All Mind exists for all mercenaries. So I'm rank. Oh, I didn't rank up. Okay. So let's go rank up. Uh, okay, so you, sir, can I get the weapon bay? With hand weapon. Unlocks the weapon bay feature AC, allowing shoulder weapons to be replaced with additional hand weapons. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, optimizes explosive weapons, energy damage, melee weapon damage. Ooh. Uh, improves object access speed, optimizing hacking. Dynamic deflection control turn. Includes the precision ACS base bracing posture control. Reducing damage received from enemy attacks. That sounds quite good. Ooh, repair kit effectiveness. That might be quite good, actually. Well, I don't think I can fight anyone else. No. Not until I level up. Alright, well, let's get damage mitigation. That feels like a pretty good... I mean, it's only 3%, but... Adds up, doesn't it? What have I got? I didn't get a huge amount of money for doing that, but I did get something. I could save up for the legs. Finish the look of my uh, my mech. Uh, So that overburdens me. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, I can't imagine these are good, but Oh, that's, that's, mm, the stats do go up quite high, don't they? Oh, I can be a centaur. I have an EN short for with these legs, though. I mean, they're way outside, well, not way outside my price range. I probably could afford them after the next mission. Mm. The weight's the problem. legs will up my load limit by quite a bit. So that's a possibility. These will upload, will load, increase my load limit a little bit, which might give me enough to install the generator. Because it's only overburdening me a tiny amount. All right. Well, let's do. It. We're not, we won't buy anything now. Let's let's do a let's do another mission, and we'll we'll 
This will give us enough money to make a decision. Got a job for you, 621. The client is the Rubicon Liberation Front. Here's the briefing. The loss of the wall dealt us a heavy blow. Yet, we believe you are more than a corporate pawn. Perhaps we can even work together. I love how, how pragmatic everyone is. Arsenal number two, a major MT factory in the Bellius region. <coughs> Corporation sells to anyone, but they've been essential to maintaining our firepower. Now, their second arsenal has gone silent overnight. If it were only a comms failure, a simple check-in would do. But, well, after the Strider, more cautious voices have gained influence. This isn't our finest moment, but would appreciate your help. <laughs> this isn't our finest moment. We appreciate you put us in this situation, but do you reckon you're going to help us out? Like, I love how pragmatic everyone is. It's just like, that guy kicked our ass. Just, yeah. Some advice I guess let's hire him. Expect the unexpected. Thanks, Water. Big help. Big help. I'm glad I got you as my fire maiden. Um, yeah, you'd, you'd think they'd be like, hey, they keep hiring this guy and he keeps kicking our ass and blowing up all our stuff, so let's kill him. Commence mission. I mean, maybe they will try and do that, but... You. No, Walter! My, uh... My, my big gruff voice is my ear. He said, expect the unexpected. I was like, thanks, Walter. <laughs> thanks, Walter. Although I do appreciate the advice you've been giving me as well. I don't know. I wish I had enough money to like, play around with the parts more, because like, I'd really like to try out the tank treads. I mean, I guess I could buy him and then sell him. If, and just try him once and then sell him if I don't like him. But, um... I'm looking to see if I can see any, like... Cool dude standing off in the distance somewhere. leaves their car. I mean, they're not even in the lane. Who just part just gets just stops their car here and is like, yeah, I'll just walk the rest of the way. Why are the cars here? Well, now you're gonna really wish you didn't park there. It. it got too far.
necessarily whiff with the sword, but I got it with my missiles. Down your deep head and it sends a sonar out. They oh. deep head, you mean deep de pad? Oh, yeah, look at that. I, sh I feel like I should probably, again, I'll probably do this off stream at this point, but I should probably go and do all the training missions that are opening up. Because I imagine this stuff is being, like, explained in the training missions. And because uh, I'm not doing them, I'm just... It's like, oh yeah, you've got all these... Because I just say... Like... Yeah. It's got you in its sights. Away from me so quickly. Yeah, I saw you that time. Unidentified machine down. Oh yeah. Keep going and stay sharp. Stop humming. Okay, well, unfortunately, that's stupid. Get unknown craft. All clear. Keep going, six two one. <clears throat> I will. Just stop. Easy. I scratched all my paint job now. was hiding a well all this time. Huh. So 
we done? Okay. Oh, wait, I hear another crap. Six, two, one, above you. Checkpoint because I think I'm gonna die, but oh, that's a cool weapon. That's cooler than my sword, annoyingly. All right, let's maybe take down the snipers before the melee guy this time. Steve, who are you shooting at? He's dead. He's like, I just, I just really like this gun. Pew, pew. Is that a coral response? Six two one. Get down and take a closer look. No doubt about it. This water. It contains faint traces of coral. It must have been an underground vein. Bows was hiding. from a distance and then losing them when I get close. Oh, I didn't get that one. There we go. There he is. Got all of the. Finish them off. Yeah. One repair kit remaining. Stay locked on them, please. So tough. That's the last of them. Not so tough when you're visible. This wasn't a simple check-in after all. Head back and rest up, 621. Oh. Don't actually need to head back. No, I'm done. I'm good. Extra trick me. They're using you can get it, but through combat logs, is it something to look forward Long to? Long time no see, Walter. Looking good for a change. I see you've got a new augmented human. What happened to 617 and the rest? Their jobs, they did what it took to get us here. 617's old huh. news. This is 621. 
So how's the newcomer doing? Adequately. He's full Gen better. Four augmentation can be unstable. We need to choose our battles. How's things on your end? I found the data our friends left behind. There's something promising in the watch point. It's a bit more Metal Gear Solid, but I kind of wish they'd have portraits for the characters so that I could grow attached to them more. One new message. <coughs> I see you're back, 621. About the Coral Well that was found at Baus Arsenal number two. That was just a trip coming from an underground vein, and it won't last long. It's not the coral we're searching for. One more thing. I've sent you your next job. This one isn't from the corpse or the Liberation Front. You'll see when you check the briefing. This is a mission from me. I need you to get milk. We're all out. And I need coffee. Good luck. Okay, so if I buy, I can buy any legs I want. Well, I can't, still can't buy the expensive legs. Didn't get as much money from that as I thought I was going to. Uh, okay. I mean, these legs do lo raise my load limit by qu quite a bit. AP up. Stability up, load limit up, max AP up, defensive performance. Hang on, this is better in every way. Why am I getting this one? <laughs> 1870, 70, 90. That's slightly lighter. Slightly higher NEN load, though. I mean, it feels like I'm just getting these legs because they look cool. Why am I... Everything else is better on these Melanda legs. Like, all they've got going for them is they're slightly lighter. And they look cool. Uh, yeah, that is... That is that is a vital part of it. They do look cool. All right, let's go. Let's get what we can get. Uh, okay, that shouldn't overburden us if I change the legs. Okay, so we're all right now for, for that. And that'll give me more EN capacity. I can actually see, I can actually get the more expensive one now, actually. If I really wanted to. Oh, no, that one's more balanced. That one's more balanced. I only need 50. Have I got anything I can sell that I'm not using? I probably, yeah, let's get rid of that. I'm probably not going to use that again. Uh, I can't sell my default stuff. Now we've got some new options. One we again is coming. It's fine. I, 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 I didn't forget. This level's tough. No, 
the new boost is what I want, really. Well, that doesn't increase my boost and thrust that much. Eh. Incremental gains. Concludes chapter. All right, well, this is... This feels like a good place to sort of end the stream as well. So let's do this mission. We'll finish this chapter, and then we'll call it a night. This is a rather personal request from a friend of mine. It concerns a certain facility, a watch point. Once, it regulated the underground flow of coral. Now, it serves to monitor the dormant veins. I want you to attack it. Your objective will be to destroy the sensor valve at its core. The watch point is kept secure by SG, the planetside PCA force, which means it's too hot for the corporations to be seen there. In other words, we're flying strictly solo on this one. As opposed to the other missions where we've got loads of friends. Yeah, no, that's cool. Don't worry about it. You'll be going in under cover of darkness. Be ready for anything. So, there's gonna be... I mean, it's a, yeah, it concludes the chapter. There's gonna be a big bat. There, there's got a, a cutscene... All right, yeah, there's gonna be Let's a big go bad. Ready, your chops are about to get busted. All right. Don't worry. Not even the PCA would anticipate a solo, independent mercenary. I shall, I shall brace for having my ship pushed in. Get in there and get to work. Woo! Main system activating combat mode. Sees you handle it. Code one five. Intruder sighted. It's just one AC. Who are they with? Ow. We can look into that later. Engaging. AP at fifty percent. AP at thirty percent. Okay. No. It's not going well. Oh, so not a strong start. Requesting backup. Yeah, I can't get through to HQ. The cavalry isn't coming. Wipe them out, 621. One repair kit remaining. I, that was very sloppy. Main system activating combat mode. Leave no evidence. 
Hands. Anyone sees you, handle it. Code one five. Intruder sighted. It's it's just one AC. Who are they with? We can look into that later. Engaging. Destroy that one. Oh. It's knowing I thought one salvo would be enough for that. Okay. Now we're good. Go seven eight, requesting backup. I can't get through the HQ. This one. Yeah, it's in the water to see. Can I get? Oh, yeah, I can get up here. Oh, yeah, I see. Good shout. Wave mutation detected. Observation data extracted from an AC of unknown affiliation. A wave mutation detected. It's happening. The aging mercenary is the ideal candidate. Serves as a trigger. We must now bring the third factor into play. Two repair kits remaining. The plot thickens. Oh, and that also makes this a lot easier. down the main entryway isn't the smartest way of doing this, as I have learned. So let's explore. They're gonna fight, and they're gonna lights. Like, so all the lights are gonna turn on as I cross the bridge, and they're gonna. Oh, screw it. Let's... Let's go in cool rather than careful. Attacking a watch point. You're incorrigible, Handler Walter. Oh. oh must I kill before you learn? He's got a disco ball. Is that well, that's fine by me. Because I'm here to dance! I feel sorry for you. I really do. You may have survived a little longer. If only you had a different master. Thank you. 
Thanks, Jeff. Suck it, Sulla. Mm. Sulla, he's nuts. Him, it's probably a good thing he's dead. Back to work. Probably a good Penetrate thing he's dead. Can I get a checkpoint, please? I don't want to have to do that again. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'm guessing he wasn't the hard part of that then. Because <coughs> he went down, he went down kind of, I mean, he almost got me, but... Just resupplied me. It's not going to be as easy as that, is it? Wait, no. Six two one, get out of there. I did not get out of there. I'm Dandy. Sorry, Raven. An older type of augmented human. Fourth generation. Have we made contact? Yeah. Hi. I am Air, a Rubiconian. Please, you must wake up. Before your consciousness is forever scattered in the coral flow. Oh, it's kind of like the life stream. Cool. So did they have like espers, like in Gundam? Is that is that the whole thing? Like she's talking to me through the coral stream. Magnetic human six four six two one. Vital signs confirmed. Disabling autopilot. Establishing comms link with Henry. Raven. Oh, hey. I've identified an approaching enemy. Oh, cool. I got my I, Walt has been replaced with it with Jeopardy. Excellent. I'll synchronize with your brainwaves and maintain contact to support you. Hi. I like you. Oh, that's a lot of missiles. It's an autonomous PCA craft, Volteus. You'll have to break its pulse arm to inflict meaningful damage. Yeah. Picking up a massive heat 
Heat Signature. A base of action, Raven. Full summer now. Now's your chance, Raven. I've taken your comms link offline for now. That massive dose of coral nearly killed you. Please, you have to focus on winning this. Ah, dang it, you turn it back on. Two repair kits remaining. Whoop. It's very pretty, but if you're you're gonna be <laughs> terrified of my life now. Um, uh, I apologize too. I accept your apology. In fact, yeah, that was all your fault. God. Main system, reactivating combat mode. I worked into the enemy craft. It's an autonomous PCA craft, Belteus. You'll have to break its pulse arm to inflict meaningful damage. Chance, Raven. I've taken your comms link offline for now. That massive dose of coral nearly killed you. Please, you have to focus on one of us. Ah. Two repair kits remaining. I have two computers still for me. Damn it! Probably not going to do it on this attempt. Yep. I'm sorry, Don't 
stop sighing at me uh, when I die. It's just like, oh, come on. I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. It's like, well, I both... I don't know how anything I feel. I'm the one who died. It's an autonomous PCA craft, Valteus. You'll have to break its pulse armor to inflict meaningful damage. Stop. Stop unlocking. Stay locked up. I, I don't look anywhere else other, other than at it. Why is my lock on not working? Lock on and stay locked on. Thank you. Right, I'm just gonna restart that one. <laughs> just wouldn't stay locked on. It's like, dude, you have just just one thing. Just just stay on it. It's cool. No, I'm not even going to listen to your apology this time, from now on, it's just... It's just... Good damage, but also he did quite a bit of damage to me. AP at thirty percent. Okay, I'm being a bit too. Uh... Yeah, me neither. Right shoulder ammunition at 50%. Whoa, he's got a flame for us. I'm sorry, Raven. Well, that was new. That was new. Okay, he's got. Uh, yeah. Okay. Reloading wasn't the problem there. 
The problem was that he had flamethrowers. And, uh... We didn't have flamethrowers when I started. Into the enemy craft. It's an autonomous PCA craft. Or it is. You'll have to break its pulse armor to inflict meaningful damage. AP at 50%. Damn it, stay locked on! Make us look. There is. No, 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 not the whole mission. There is, like, well, there's one guy. I need you to just, just, just stay on him. That's all this I need you to do, lock on. That's bad. Down, I can get him down to like 30 pretty reliably. Um,
take much more. Yeah, that's true for me too, though. Yeah. Okay, I got him down about 20 that time. You need money, go reduce more nations. Nah! I got him! I'm just taking a bit too much damage in the middle. I can kill him. Main system, reactivating combat mode. I've looked into the enemy craft. It's an autonomous PCA craft, though it is. You'll have to break its pulse armor to inflict meaningful damage. Another half of that one. The waves are intensifying. Now oh, there we go. Get clear. Okay. Right shoulder recognition at fifty percent. Now he's gonna start using it. Flamethrower. Meaningful hits on that last part. Damn. Yeah, I know I should save my laser blade, but it's like it does so much damage to a shield compared to everything else. Main system, reactivating combat mode. I've looked into the enemy craft. It's an autonomous PCA craft. Frontiers. You'll have to break its pulse armor to inflict meaningful damage. Picking up a massive heat signature. Evasive action, Raven. AP at 50%. Pulse armor down. Now's your 
chance, Raven. I've taken your comms link offline for now. That massive dose of core on the ground killed you. Please, you have to focus on winning this. Two repair kits remaining. Yeah, not really. Yeah, this this one's not not been a good one. Change your left shoulder shield. Oh, I didn't think I could change stuff mid mid fight. Uh, unfortunately, I sold it, so <laughs> can't do that. Um, I want the assault rifle. Nah, let's just stick with what we got. I've almost, I've almost got him. Main system, reactivating combat mode. I've looked into the enemy crowd. It's an autonomous PCA craft, Belteus. You'll have to break its pulse armor to inflict meaningful damage. Didn't dodge that as quickly as I could have done, but he missed anyway. Ah, damn it. Yep, 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 yep. I'm sorry, 
No, I got it, I got it. You said this was hard. Main system, reactivating combat mode. I've looked into the enemy craft. It's an autonomous PCA craft, Bauteus. You'll have to break its pulse arm to inflict meaningful damage. Oh, come on. I've taken your comms link offline for now. That massive dose of coral nearly killed you. Please, you have to focus on winning this. AP at 30%. Um, I'm sorry, Raven. I decided not to heal then, because I thought... I'll see how I can do without healing. If I can get him down to a certain amount, I, I'll. But if he killed me, because there was such a sloppy start. Oh, well, there's no point in healing that. My best one, my best shot effort so far. Yes, I think we're still in single digits there. Booyah! Told you I could do it. Now for his second stage. Enemy systems down. It's silent. <laughs> Always double tap. Always double tap. Raven. Booyah. Don't talk like you know me. Just my copper going. Ah, right. That was just a glimpse. A premonition of the storm of flame that will burn Rubicon. Thank you for believing in me, Drandy. Yay!
contact. Cleared mission, attack the watch point. Oh, one shy, okay. A friend of mine sent me this observational data. Look, 621. A localized coral explosion caused by the surge has a certain direction. <coughs> Ask about like what happened when I exploded. There's a huge mass of coral lying no. dormant. Alright. Nice to see you too, Walter. You said you could hear a strange voice in your head. That's a common side effect of old gen augmentation. Could also be from getting caught in that coral surge. Don't let it bother you. Air's still there, just going. Oh, she's still there, just going. Don't the listen to him. Explosion completely vaporized northwestern Belius's Bay Area. And even yet, compared to the fires of Ibis, that explosion was hardly a spark. Raven, I have a favor to ask. Let me remain in contact with you until we reach the coral convergence. I mean. You're in my brain. Where they're taking us. I don't I don't think I can just turn you off. How this struggle over the coral ends. I just la la just put my fingers in my ears and go la 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 I can't hear you, voice in my head. And Walter's like, okay, we should maybe let's get six two two ready just in case. I think six two one may have uh Augmented human, C four six two one. Entering standard mode. Yeah, might have uh, reached the end Two of his life. New messages. Ooh, I'm popular. Six two one. I've got some business to attend to. I need to hawk some intel to the corpse and secure a backer for our trip to the ice field. One job for you while I'm out. Rest up. And that's an order. Raven, I, I have see your handlers away on business for now. I have three jobs for you. Don't rest. About that trip to the ice field, we've received a job from Balaam already. Let's take a look, shall we? Yeah, he's like, rest up, take it easy. And he's like, no, no, no time to rest. I am the voice in your head. Registration number RB23, call sign, Raven. Your records have been updated. Woo! E rank virtual encounters are now available in the arena. Woo! We invite you to hone your technique. Yeah! Oh, let's do that. Let's, let's try those real quick then. New mercenary data added to the arena. New parts. Oh, everything's coming up dandy. Alright, let's see. Let's see what new parts we've got. Ooh, a laser shotgun. Okay, okay. Missile launcher there. Do we have a new sword? Napalm Bomb Launcher. Interesting. Interesting. Ooh. This weapon gores the target with a massive steel bite pipe a pile, obliterating through sheer physical force. Charged to prime the firing hammer, enabling attacks that enhance by explosive damage. Okay, that is strong contender. <gasps> oh. Do I have enough for the Gatling gun and the pile? Like 170, 185. Oh, I do have enough money. Let's see what other. Let's just see what the other options are first. But um, that's that's looking strong. Uh, okay, missile launchers. So launches. We can get a new shield. Yeah, my current plasma shield isn't quite. So 
So that'll dampen the impact, whereas that will actually mitigate the damage. That's probably better. Uh, all the new heads. Ooh, look at, look at this spiky boy. Oh, that's just the... Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, new boosters. Yeah, this is the boring stuff. Okay. We're gonna get the Gatling gun. We're gonna get the pile bunker. 87. Uh, not quite enough for a new shield, but that's fine. <laughs> uh, our load's good. All's dandy. <coughs> Power bunker when you hold down assault and attack does most damage a melee weapon can do in the game. Ooh. I mean, I was already, like, I was already there. Um, just because it was a big, spiky thing. But, um, knowing that it does the most damage, now what I'm going to do is just go for the big hit. So let's see if I can, let's see uh, how many of these sort, these um, arena fights I can do. And then, uh, yeah. Or maybe call it a night after that. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program number 26. Entering I probably will take some time off stream to make my mech look cooler. Because I'm seeing these guys Subject and I'm AC. like, Better yeah. Promise. Call sign, no Zark. This is cool. I have an idea for what I want my mech to look like. Evaluation. So, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to experiment a little bit when Great I can system. sit here in silence for a bit. But my, you know, my, my, my garish pink Wanza is, uh, the Wanza? That's the other game. Armored Core. fight this guy properly in a second. gun is good, but it doesn't quite have... Let me try this with the shotgun. Because it, it, it runs out of ammo before I can take the shield down, and then it takes so long to reload that their, their shield goes back up. Main system. The, main, the, the Gatling gun's great. It's just, I don't know the way it's good for. It's, this is probably better for my style. Oh, 
Oh, that's that's what I was trying to do. Target destroyed. That's what I was trying to do. Well done. Oh, is it some overheating? That's why it's dropping the uh, the the lock on. Right. Okay. That makes sense. But yes, the the pile driver is very nice. This will this will make a this will make a fine addition to my collection. Uh, I'm gonna save up for the uh, increased healing. I think at this point. Because it'd be nice if um, repair kits put me back up to full health instead of Arena halfway. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, number 25, rank E. Always oh, got two of these Subject things. Subject AC, infection. Call sign V6, Mater Link. Hi, Mater Link. Oh, it's a mosquito. Evaluation. Main system activating combat mode. Okay, okay. Here's what I'm thinking. Uh, I'm gonna take my shield off. Wait, can I not put my sword on my shoulder? It's only the, oh, it's only the right shoulder. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. I was hoping I could swap my pile driver with my sword. Okay, well, that was a nice thought. Maybe the minigun would be better for this one, because it moves around quite a bit more. I was, I'll try once more the shotgun. System. Activating combat mode. Again with the mini gun. You can do with main main weapons. System. Yeah, is that the buckler combat. shield instead of the regular shield? I assume I use that for. Pa I can equip that and I can like parry with that.
kind of trying to sort of hope that it just coincidentally runs into my attack, but that's probably too optimistic. <coughs> the regular attack, melee attack. Yeah. Is that not like with the buckler? Main system. Or is there, do I have a different thing that I'm just not using? I mean, I know I can, like... Once and get a hit with the with the power drive. I just want to see how much damage it'll do. I'd probably be better off using the sword for this rather than trying to trying to gamble on the one big hit. But ah, oh, it's just so satisfying to hit it with the thing. I'm gonna try to switch back to the laser sword. Alright. Go back to Old Faithful. Just for this fight. As, as satisfying as it would be to clonk it with the power driver, it's a bit too floaty. Easier. Target destroyed. I really wanted to kill it with a pyro driver, but well done. We'll get the next one. We'll get the next one. The last one looks less floaty. for the next one. I mean, I could just save up and get the next one. Maybe I should get some new armor. I mean, I assume that's what they're using, is the, like, one of these, <coughs> one of these updates. Um, Turn alarm allows it to be installed. Turn alarm automatically triggers a pulse barrier on the ACs AP reaches its limit, greatly enhancing defense until the barrier reaches its durability all the time limit. When 
equipped activates automatically when AP falls to zero. So if I die, this turns on... Hmm. Interesting. Alright, well let's see what the next two... Little Z. Oh, this is the one that I wanted that, that attacked me, but I didn't have enough time to beat. Maybe I'll go back to that mission and beat her up to get her uh, to get her thingy. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program Number Twenty Four, Rank E. Subject AC UAU. Call sign Little Z. -Y. So Z. -Y. Commencing evaluation. Main system. Activating combat mode. Oh, I thought I put my power drive back on. Well, I'll see what I do with the sword. Stronger than the last one. Concluding evaluation. Well done. That last one was way harder. Although I, it was a lot easier once I switched back my sword. So maybe it's just the pile driver's fault. And now I can put a fish on my mech. Hooray! All right, last one, and we'll call it a night. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, number 23, rank E, final evaluation. Subject AC, guidance, call sign V7 Swinburne. Oh, Swinburne, that's a cool logo you got there with a nail through the Commencing eye. Commencing evaluation. Main system, activating combat mode. It's amazing how many mech pilots are also graphic designers. Or maybe the same, the advertising division that makes the uh, makes all the mission videos also puts the uh, also puts the emblems together for them. Of me. We are glad to oversee your development as a mercenary. All Mind exists for all mercenaries. Okay, cool. Alright, well. That was fun. Let's look at the next mission. Not gonna do not gonna go on it, but let's see what we gotta do. 
Uh, infiltrate grid 06 and reach the center. Extra rewards based on number of enemies destroyed. Cool. And I can go back and replay. To achieve an S rank rating, you must complete the mission without retrying from a checkpoint. We're also destroying a large number of enemy targets and minimizing incoming damage. Time taken, ammunition consumed. Huh. I mean, you could have just given me an S rank. Anyway, but... Okay, so it does show me which levels I miss the combat, the battle log on. So I can go back... What I'll do is off stream, I'll go back and get all the battle logs, I guess. Um... Yeah, I'll just look up where to find them. And get some more cash, and then next time we can I can show off my, my shiny new mech. As, as delightful as this monstrosity is, I got, I, I got an idea. I got an idea for something a bit, a bit cooler looking. Lots of surprises in this mission, but they're good. Well, that'll be something to look forward to. Uh, I might play this. I might play this again on Monday. I'm just trying to think. I don't think there's anything coming out this week that I want to play. There was some DLC announced at the Game Awards. Um, But I can't remember what it, what it was. Oh, was it? I don't, I don't think there's anything on Monday. Is what I'm thinking. Is what I'm saying. Dredge, X D for dive with DLC. I have a feeling that was next week. Uh, December fifteenth. So that's well, that's next Friday. Well, I'm not going to play it on Friday. Maybe I'll play that on Saturday, next Saturday then. Let's see how long it is. If it's not very long, I'll push it to next week, uh, the other week. Anyway, but yeah, I'll uh, I'll play some more uh, Armored Core on Monday, I think. Unless unless something comes out that I'm like I want to play that, uh, which I don't think it will between now and Monday. We'll play more some more Armored Core on Monday, and I'll I will, we'll, I will try and get my mech in order before then. So. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. It's 2:30 for me. I'm gonna call it a night. Thanks for watching. If you did, thanks for your thanks for your help today, Big Randy, and for uh, for your assistance. And much appreciated. Uh, hopefully, see you again. Um, yeah, have a good night, or morning, or afternoon, or evening, whatever it is, wherever you are, and uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Uh, yeah. Bye bye. <laughs>